hello guys welcome back to my channel once again today i'm going to show you guys how to sew this uh, knitted outfit you can see so many people find it so difficult to sew this design so today i'm going to show you guys the simplest way method to sew this design so after watching this video i want to know how you feel in the comment section and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will be notified when i upload a new video so I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to sew this um, design Okay, now before I start, in case you, you don't know how to call this uh, outfit, I'll drop the link on the description below. I have a tutorial on how to call this uh, knitted outfit. And don't forget to ask Crystal, like I said before, please ask Crystal. Okay, now this, this is my front pattern, you can see. Here's my front pattern. I'm done with the cotton. Now, I will come the neck. I can see how I come the neck. After coming the neck, next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to uh, give it a center line. I'm going to fold it into two like this and give it a center line. You can see. You can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to the neck should be torn. The neck is not going to be pipe. So I'm, I'm going to uh, cut the fabric, a black fabric is what I'm going to use. Length of 14. You can see. And here is the the width is a, a 10. I'm going to turn the neck. I, I'm not going to pipe the neck. So I'm going to fold it into two like this also. Now I'm going to place uh, the front pattern on top of the, of the black, just like this. This, this, is, this is what I'm going to use to turn the neck, a right hand. Now I'm going to uh, cover it from the shoulder like this, then also the neck. I guess that's what I'm doing. Now this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to remove it like this. You can see what I have here. Now I'm going to curve uh, the other side. Like I'm going to uh, shift my head like two and a half inch. Then curve it like this from the sh from the shoulder. Like two and a half inch from the shoulder. Then curve it like this. You can see. You can now weave it or uh, or after swing you can do it. You can now weave it now before it starts swing or it, it can also sew after swing then you can weave it together okay now i'm going to fold uh, the fabric uh, into two like this you can see how i fold it i fold the front together here is the back you can see i give it a, a center line then i'm going to place it on top from the front you can see now i'm going to stitch around the neck i'm going to give a, a, a gap of half inch like this so then stitch it around the neck like this And after doing that, this is what I'm going to have, you can see. Like half it is okay. Then stitch it around the neck. Now also I'm going to stitch another one, another line from the center here. You can see my chalk. Then I'm going to cross the line. That center line, like let me see like eight inches okay. Remember I fold the fabric into two, it has a center line. Then from the other side, I'm going to I stitch it like this, then close to the other line, like not off to a quarter inch. And this is what I'm going to have after doing that. Sorry, I'm just minimizing because of the time. I don't want the video to take too long. You can see how I, I stitch that from the other uh, side to the other side. Now I'm going to cut it into two. First of all, take a mark on the neck so that it can turn very well. That's why I took uh, this mark. Is very very important. Then after that, I'm going to cut from the center and stop at that eight inch. I see. I see what I have here. Take a mark here so I can turn very well. Now I'm going to turn it. Turn it after after doing that. I'm going to turn it to the back side. See what I have here. Okay, this time around, you're going to uh, take your time so that it will last very well. That rush, just take your time and turn it. You can see what I have here. Turn it very well. Then you can use your iron and press it after doing that. Make sure you turn the both sides very well. This method is very, very simple. Very, very simple method. But in case you, uh, if you have any, any question on 
any of this uh, tutorial you can, you can easily ask on the comment section and i get to you now i'm going to press it with my iron after turning it press it very well with my iron can I see press it very well now I'm going to, this is what I'm going to have. I can see the neck is not on. Then at that opening, I'm going to shift uh, the black front. I want the black uh, to show at that opening. You can see how I shift the black. I'm not going to fold it uh, equal. I shift the black front so that it will show at that opening. You can see. You can see what I have here. I can see the black. The black is showing at that opening make sure that you turn the neck very well you can use your needle to turn it very well okay now after that i'm going to press it very well and use my hem and gum to hold it at the back turn it very well now i'm going to use my hem and gum to hold it so that it will not shift at the back Please ask any question. I'm most especially subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet because I have more of this tutorial. I have more of this tutorial to give you guys to show you guys. So subscribe so that you guys will not miss any of my tutorial. I'm using them. I'm going to hold it. Press the method. Okay, now this, this is what I'm going to have. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the other side. You can see what I have here. Here also, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. There's no difference. Exactly what I did on the other side. Turn it very well. You can use your needle to turn it very, very well. Then use your iron to fold it. You can see. what I have here you can spread water on it in case you can put water on it so that it will last then turn it very well and see what I have here also now also uh, at that opening I also shift the black so that it will show, show like the other one I want uh, the black to show at that opening you can also turn it equal in case you don't want the, uh, the black to show to show at that opening but I prefer uh, the black to show a little at that opening. You can see what I have here. You can see the opening. Now, also, I'm going to use my hem and gum to hold it at the back. I'm going to use my hem and gum to hold it at the back. see now this is what i'm going to have after doing that i'm done with the turning let's see what i have here you can see then press it very well Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, sew the main design after uh, turning the neck. Now, I'm going to fold uh, the fabric again into two, like I did at the initial time. I'm going to fold it into two also. Also going to press it off very well, so the center line will also show. I want the center line to show very well. I'm going to use my iron to keep the center line. The center line is very, very important. So, you will not miss your target. Now for that, I'm going to open it like this. You can see. Now I'm going to mark the design. I'm going to use a uh, screw chalk. You will know why I use screw chalk after. Now first of all, I'm going to measure like 14 inch. It's okay. Use screw chalk to mark it. Don't use uh, other chalk. 
very important for thin hair, I see. Now I'm going to measure uh, one inch from the neck, from the shoulder here. Then from the shoulder down, I'm going to measure 10 inch. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to curve it from here to that one inch. See what I have here. I'm marking one side of the pattern. Now from here, I'm going to curve to that 14 inch. This is what I have here. Remember, I'm marking only the one side. Now I'm going to fold it together. And this is this is the reason why I, I ask us to use squid chalk. And I'm going to beat this that it will show at the other uh, pattern. You can see, beat it a little so that it will show at the other uh, side of the pattern. Now this, this is what I'm going to have. You can see, this is what I have here. That is why I ask us to use squid chalk. Then after I'm going to create after. Don't worry about uh, how the chalk show. I'm going to create after. I want to get uh, the drawing correctly. That's why I use squid chalk. Okay, now I'm going to cut uh, my fabric that I will use on, on those uh, lines. You can see here, here the back. I'm going to cut from the back, and I'm going to cut it by us. Like you're cutting your neck, your, your snatter neck. I'm not going to cut this straight, I'm going to cut it by us like this. You can see what I have here. See what I have here. I'm going to use like 3 inch. 3 inch is okay. Mm, 3 inch is okay for the width. Now this is what I'm going to use uh, on those lines. Now I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold the both sides. I can see the bias is not drawing. Like your not on neck, if you, if you want to pipe it. I'm going to fold the both sides. You can use your hem and gum. I'm going to use my hand to fold it so that it will last very well. Depending on, on the public, this one is top on. I'm going to use hem and gum to fold it. Just for it to last very well. You can see. Just take your time, don't rush. Just take your time. I'm just uh, trying to minimize the, the time. That this video will not take too long. Then on the other side, also, I'm going to fold it. Also, you can see what I'm doing. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button for more tutorial. I have more tutorials to teach you guys, to show you guys. So, subscribe so that you will not miss these tutorials. Now, this is what I'm going to have one and a half inch. It's okay for the width. Now I'm going to cut like as many as possible so that it will serve on those lines. That's why I cut like four lines and the width are the same, one and a half inch. It's okay. Just the same method, the same folding. Now I'm going to use uh, this uh, folding to form on those lines. I'm going to use uh, this folding on those lines. Okay, now I'm going to start from the center line with my hemming gum. I'm going to use the hemming gum to hold uh, those folding. And I'm going to start from the center line of my front pattern. You can see the line. I'm going to place the hemming gum on top of the line. Then the folding should be on top of the hemming gum. Then I'm going to come into my, with my iron. Don't allow your iron to get uh, too hot. Control your iron. But I'm going to use hot iron to hold it very well. Just like this. This is how I'm going to do it on those lines, just like this. Next one is the other one, the center one, the curve line. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on those lines, just same thing. 
this one is curved so i'm going to use my iron to control it and with my hemming gum i'm going to use my iron to control the the folding to go exactly hard uh, that my marking is can see how i'm doing that very simple and neat that's why i've got to cut it by us so that it will fold very well it will lap very well so if you cut this thread it's it not going to lap like this one it is going to disturb you you can see very very simple and neat see what i have here Then I'm going to stop at the other line. I'm going to stop here. Then I'm cut this off with my scissors. You can see where I stopped. Okay, then after that, I'm going to move to the next line. Do the same thing, there's no difference. Also, use your hemming gum. I'm going to fold it. From the shoulder here then place the, the folding on top see what i have here very simple it will last very well and see what i have can see also cut it with scissors now move to the next line then after doing that, I'm going to uh, stitch the both sides of the lines of the folding. You can see. After doing that, I'm going to stitch the both sides. Now move to the next line. The same thing. The same thing. There's no difference. After doing that, I'm going to stitch the both sides. Just for this, the same thing. There's no difference, like the, the other side. Okay, now this, this is what I'm going to have after doing that. I, I, I'm done with the stitching. You can see, stitch the both side. You can see what I have here. Now I'm going to press it very well with my iron. Make sure that uh, everything is last. You can see what I have here. Okay, now after pressing it, next thing now is my inner flap. The opening should not be like this. I use the fabric for the inner flap. Look at what I have here. I have a four inch width. It's okay. And now I'm going to fold it to two. I'm folding from the back. Now I'm going to stitch on top like this. Okay, now after doing that, this is what I'm going to have. Now I'm going to turn it. The length should be like 11 inches, okay, for the length, in case. Then I'm going to turn it to the front side. Remember, I stitch from the back, then turn it to the front side. Turn it very well. Now I'm going to use uh, my hemming gum to hold it. First of all, press it very well to the last. Then use your hemming gum to, to hold it inside. See what I have here. Then press it with my iron so that it will last very well. After that, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the flap from the back. I'm going to place the flap at the back. First of all, mark your button hole first, then do the button hole. Mark the button hole, then do the button hole first. Before it starts uh, the flap, stitching the flap, I'm going to stitch the flap from the back like this. You can see what I have here. You can see before you stitch the flap, do it button hole please. Before you stitch the flap, then stitch uh, a stop at that last button hole. You can see what I'm doing. Remember to do your button hole first before you stitch the flap. Okay, now this is what I'm going to have after doing that. You can see after the uh, button hole, then I stitch the flap. And tuck my button the button should be like two and a half inch away from each of them you can see two and a half inch is okay you can see the gap should be like two and a half inch like i said okay now next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to fix the back and the sleeve you can see 
Now this is what I'm going to do after doing that. Very very simple as you can see. I want to show you guys how to design uh, this as feet. You can see very easy. Tell me how you feel in the comment section and don't forget to ask questions like I said before. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will be notified when I will put a new video. See you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.